Well, two reality TV stars facing some real life drama of their own. Their names are Teresa and Joe Judice or Judice. Their last name has changed in pronunciation over the last few years as their fame has changed as well. And they're from the hit Bravo show, Real Housewives of New Jersey. And now they're charged with multiple counts of fraud. They just wrapped up their first appearance in federal court. And Julie Banderas is here with the latest. Jules? Yeah, that's right. Well, I suppose if you're facing over 30 years, 50 years, who can count of jail time and 39 criminal counts, anyone's bound to crack. But for these reality stars, cracking in front of the cameras is nothing new and not even when you're headed into real life court. As two of the Real Housewives of New Jersey stars headed into court in Newark today, to face federal charges this morning. They were in no mood for the cameras. And when one photographer got too close, Joe swung at him. It all went down in the midst of all the commotion during their court arrival. The husband and wife team. The couple were charged in a 39 count indictment yesterday with conspiracy to commit fraud and wire fraud, mail and wire fraud, bank fraud, making false statements on loan applications, and bankruptcy fraud. U.S. Attorney Paul Fishman spoke moments after their first court appearance. The went on for a pretty long time, and we're confident that we have enough evidence to convict the defendants beyond a reasonable doubt. Will each hand over 500,000 in bonds and expect they will enter not guilty pleas on August 14th. And both are under travel restrictions to only New York and New Jersey. And in true celebrity style, yesterday, Teresa addressed her real life drama on Twitter, writing, Today is a most difficult day for our family. I support Joe. And as a wonderful husband and father, I know he wants only the best for our lovely daughters and me. I am committed to my family and intend to maintain our lives in the best way possible, which which includes continuing my career. As a result, I am hopeful that we will resolve this matter with the government as quickly as possible. Thank you all for your kind wishes, prayers, and support. Her attorney, by the way, today spoke on her behalf as well. Listen. Well, the family's handling themselves with great dignity, but it's very traumatic. And when you have four small girls, it's tough for everybody, including the girls. Husband Joe, by the way, also accused of failing to file tax returns from the years 2004 to 2008 when he allegedly earned a, a near one million dollars. He also faces deportation as he is an Italian citizen. So far, no word from Bravo, the network that pays their salaries to show their real lives unfold on TV. Back to you guys. Wow, what a case. Julie, thank you. Sure. Throw the book at him. That's what <laughs> That's I That's it, John? That's reality stars get no love on Never this. Never watched that you. show, so I don't know. <laughs>